All right, guys, it's road trip day with Mike right. and Lee with me. And I had a 1241-1242 signal and uh, just popped it. I don't know what it is. No, it's a Merc. Boy, it's a worn Merc. All right, guys. Check that out. That thing is worn. Let's see if we can get a date on it. 1916. Uh oh. Oh boy. You got a mint stamp on it? Scared to look. 1916D. Is it really? Let me see it. Is that the good one? Yeah. Wait a minute. It's an S. An ass. I think it's an ass. Anyway, I'm going to look at it real quick with my phone. And if I come back all excited, you know it was a D. If not, on to the next one. Alright, you'll see I'm back at the truck here. My battery uh, has been dead <laughs> on my camera. I didn't think enough to charge it ahead of time. Yeah, I keep interfering. But I D. just popped another one right here. What's this one? I don't know what this one is, but it does look silver. Oh, it looks smaller. Oh, is that a half fire? Is it a half fire? I don't know. Anybody got water? You got water, Lee? Yeah, I do. I got some cleaner. Does it feel like silver? Oh, yeah. The reeded edge, too. Here, I got it. Could be half done. Spray me up. What's going on? Oh, I accidentally turned mine. Oh. Pointer on. Alright, you ready? Mm hmm. Yeah, let me get I think it's gonna be a slug. Hmm. Looks like a reeded edge. I think it's a I knockout, see. don't you? Oh, I don't know. I've, I've seen, I thought I'd seen an image there for a second. Oh, it's not a reeded edge. Well, we got all excited for nothing there. I think it's a knockout, see? Yeah, I see that. Well, yeah, pooey. False alarm. False alarm. That just proves right there we don't always find the goods, do we? No, we don't. It happens. We'll keep going. All right, guys, you see me making the walk back from the truck. It's not a stellar find by any sense of the imagination, but it is an old key. With some fancy knockout made in USA, and Lee says oh, that's a GM. Does it say knockout or lockout? I don't know. Anyway, Lee says he thinks he's got a little silver in the hole. We're gonna go check his out. Where you at? What? Where you at? Right here. I believe it's a rosy. I think I've seen some of it, but I figured I'd let you pop it. There she is right there. It is a Roosevelt. Is it silver? Or is it modern? I think it's silver. I think the edge looked... I yeah, it's a 40-something. 40 48, I think. I didn't see any coloration, any color in the reeds, so... Yeah, it looks silver. It can't be a 43. It's got to be a 48. Why can't I not see that? Yeah, it's a 1940. Now I just dirtied it up. 1948 Rosie stool. Cool. It was about a half inch down. Was it? Yeah. Fine, I mean, it was nice. hardly even down there. No, Good find, good. man. That's two. That's two in about 15 minutes. So yeah. let's keep going. All right, that right there kind of gives you a side view of the house. It's a big, big, nice house. Uh, older house. Up there is where I found the Merc up towards the front yard. Lee's back here working the trash pit. <laughs> There's signals everywhere. I came out over here. This is owned by the church across the way, which we were able to hunt in as well. And I uh, was making my way towards those trees and got a 1242 signal and dug it. Wasn't super deep. I don't think it's super old. But as you can see, it's a little cap gun. So, love finding the old cap guns. My kids love them. Probably more than I do. But nice shiny one. Hadn't been under there too long, I don't believe. So it'll probably clean up nicely. 
we'll see what else we can get. All right, guys, that other uh, permission dried up pretty quickly. Came by and saw this unit, and uh, Mikey went next door and asked for permission. She said, yeah. She said, as far as she knows, it's never been detected. Uh, so, so far, we've just hit clad. But Mikey held up a... Mikey held up a little thing. He said silver dollar, and I was like, yeah, right. Turned out being a presidential token of some sort, so let's go check it out. Man, that thing's big. That is huge. It scared me. I thought it was a silver dollar, but it's not. It's still cool, though. It's Rutherford B. Hayes. 1887-1881. How deep was it? Yeah, about four inches, maybe three. Hmm. I don't know. It's not cracker Ooh, jack. Oh, he's scary. Is it? Huh? It's not a cracker jack one. No, it's got something on the back. What does it say? It just tells it about anything. Huh. Yeah, Sucker was born in 1822. I've seen that silver down there. I thought, oh my gosh, it's silver. <laughs> <laughs> a good scared. find anyway, man. Good job. Yeah. As you can tell, the breeze is blowing straight towards me from that honeysuckle, and I'm loving it. Had a uh, 1241 signal, 1240, and check this out, it's pretty cool. It's modern, but a 22 long rifle with some wonderful white patina on it. So, that's a cool find. Let's see what else we can get. All right, guys, we're on a new permission, and we're almost done with it, honestly. Um, house has obviously been hunted before. I just flashed the side of this tree and got a 1241 now. Guys, it's 12.30 Central Time. We started hunting at 9. It's been three and a half hours, and I hadn't had a wheat. The other guys have, but I'm going to coax them into an oldest coin competition and not tell them that I found this one because it's a 1910. And then once they commit to it, I'll get them. So, anyway, it's a good find. I think we're going to try to step into another one. We'll see what we can get. Here comes Mike's walk. Yeah. All right, Mike. I think it's a quarter. Is it? Uh -huh. right. It's big. It yeah. hit 12.42. It looks silver. Yeah. That's all I've seen of it. So, oh, it's bigger than that. Uh oh. Oh, it's a walker. Is it? Are yeah. you kidding me? Wow. It's a freaking awesome. walker half. Cool. 44. Oh, my. Wow. What a find. That 44. is awesome. <laughs> all awesome. right, guys. Check it out. That is so cool. Tickle to death on that. Well, we'll see if we can get on some more. I was about awesome. ready to go. Yeah. Let me get in the shade so you can see it. Super fine, dude. Nice one there. Awesome. Woo-hoo. We'll keep going. All right. I got to go. Oh, Mike, Mike coming again. This one was a 1246, 1245 signal. And then it went 1241. Right. It was between these two roots. You see, I got one here. got another one there. But I got down to it. And there it is. Wow. It's another Merc. Killing it, man. 38 of them. Let's look. What year is this one? 39. 39 Mercury. 1939. Not sure on the mint mark, but cool find, cool. man. I'm tickled. Right. That's three in the bag awesome. so far. We'll see what else we can get. Super day. All right, Lee's joined me in the shade. I'm almost to the shade, but I'm sitting on my where I just found that dime. Had a nickel signal, which we have not gotten many nickel signals today. And there she is, guys, right there in the plug. You know how I love nickels. I'm going to get in the shade real quick so we can see it a little bit better, but I thought we would expose the nickel together and hoping it's not a Jefferson. And it's a buffalo. I can see the buffalo on that side. So awesome sauce, man. i got to get in the shade better. I get in the shade, I can see it on the camera, but I can't see it with my own eyes, so... Anyway, I'll see if I can get a date off of it, and uh, if I can, I'll let you know. Woohoo! All right, guys. Hopefully, you can see that, but it's a 1934. So, good shape buffalo. Love it. We'll keep going. I'm just having one of those days, guys. I just left the tree where I found the buffalo and the murk, headed towards the house over here. Had another nickel signal and another buff. And I don't think this one's got a date on it. Yeah, it's got something. Really can't tell what it says. But anyway, whoops, I got lost her. Excellent. Love buffalo nickels. You know, if you watch any of my videos, 
I'm hooked on the nickel. We'll keep going. Okay, right at the tip of my coil is where I found that second buffalo. Work my way back and coming back through right here. And another one, and man, is the soil good to these. Or this was a quick drop after issue, but this is a 1919 plain buffalo. That's a number three buffalo, and for a guy who loves nickels, you know I'm loving this. I was hungry earlier. I'm not hungry no more. I'm getting full up on some buffalo meat. Woo-hoo! We'll keep going. Alrighty, towards the back of the property now, and a 1242 signal. Scored a 1942, I believe. Wheat scent, so third one for the day. Seems to be threes today. Three silvers, three buffaloes, now three wheats. Wait a minute, I might have four. That's going to mess everything up. i got to find another silver and another buffalo. I'll be back. Alright guys, I was on an 1138 signal. It took me forever to get to it. I was under the roots, but tickle I did. Check it out, guys. 1901 Indian Head Penny. Mm. Hadn't Three picked one. the back. Really? Lee just dug one as well. Cool. Give the signal. All right. See? Two fingers up. Good job, so 1901 man. Indian Man. Tickled with that. We'll see what else. We're having quite the day today. Yeah. We'll, we'll get some more. Alright, here's a look at Lee's 1901. Mine's prettier, isn't it, guys? Tell him. Uh, I'll put it in the comments. Mine's prettier, buddy. Which one's prettier, mine or his? Yeah, Comment mine. below. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll get on some more. Lee Cole. Yes, sir. Pull your hat up. Can't see your face, which some people are applauding, but... <laughs> <laughs> what do you like the most about this hobby? Uh, finding stuff. Digging silver. Recovering history. Digging silver, especially. And uh, you just did that, you think, right? I think. Let's go check it out. Could be. I just spent about 10 minutes on what I thought was Buffalo number four. Turned out to be Jefferson number one. Let me see if I can find this unit down here for him. Oh, I see it. Oh, yeah, it's definitely silver. Definitely silver. And, again on camera. Be old for him. Be old for him. <gasps> One dime. Oh, no, so it's either Barber or Seed. Get your spray. Get your spray. One dime. I bet you it's Barber. Yeah, that's it. That's, it's chances are greater of being Barber than it is being Seed. I'm glad I didn't look at the other seated. side very long. It is one dime on this side. See it? Ready? Ready? Yep. I don't know. Hang on. Let's look through the viewfinder. Can you tell? I can't. Well, it gives me a chance. Barber. Oh, it's seated. Is it? Oh, no, it's Barbara. I saw that yeah, slumped over and I thought it was seated there for a second. That's all right. I'll take it. Don't know what year. What's it tell you? 19... I gotta get it, my whole glove under there. It is a 1914. See, it's got a mint mark. I've got my gloves so dirty now. You cake me up. Yeah, cake me up more. And it is saying no mint. 1914, no mint, buddy. Hey, I'll take it. You like about this hobby is digging silver. Yes, sir. You got that one. Good job. Thank you. We'll keep going. All right, guys. Another weedy to add to the collection. And this is actually number four. So now i got to get busy. So I think it's a 50s. Not 100%. Probably a 20s. Because I'm guessing bad all the time. But it's a wheat penny. I know that. We'll keep going. Quite the day. Quite the day. Got Lee here with me. Mikey's on the way. This thing was right. There's a... Uh, I know why you missed this one too, because there is a memorial right here on top. I went right past it and I got a 1244 signal. What is it? I don't know yet. I was waiting for you. I'm going to pop the top. And it's just a rosy, silver rosy. Wow. Right number there. four for the day. That's number four for the day, yeah. Awesome. Boy, that thing was deep. For Good a little job, roser. Man. Killing it. That is a 54. So. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. 54 almost that. looks uncirculated. From yeah, that, that is a nice coin. We'll see what else we can get. Okay, apparently I didn't check my hole because I just dug that 58 weedy from there a second ago, come back through, and I got a hit there again. 
and this one I think is a 40s. It's an awful green one though. But that's number five. We'll keep going. I'm telling you guys, it's like Christmas for me here. Just opening up presents left and right. Buffalo number four. Wowzers. Can't tell if this one's got a date or not. Maybe you guys can see it. it looks like there's writing on it, so. Give it a little wipe. And I made it worse. Um, I can't tell. Anyway, Buffalo number four. Never had a day like this. We'll keep going. I don't know what it is with me and roots today. But I feel like Kunta Kinte. All the roots I've been digging through today. Another silver? Another silver, Mikey says. And let me tell you, I just popped it up from down below. And I saw the edge right there. You see it? I don't know what it is yet. But it was underneath all that. I think it's another rosy. What's that, five or six? Oh, no, it's not a rosy. It's a barber. Barber? Yeah. Sweet. Awesome. Sweet. It's a barber. Awesome. Boy, oh, that boy, is yeah. in fantastic shape, too. Those roots protected it. Is that five really or good. six? Silver. That's number five silver for the day, and awesome. it is a... Let me get it in the shade so I can see on my viewfinder. I think it's a 16. 19. No, it's a 14 as well, just like Lee's. 1914. Cool. 1914 barber. Yeah. Awesome. So that's the trifecta so far super, super. on the day, 1914, and mine is a, I have a mint mark? Man, it's so hard to see out here, so much glare. No, nope, doesn't look like one. So, stamp. No mint, just like Lee's, 1914, oh. baby. We'll keep going. That didn't look All like right, guys. Mine. Really? I took three steps. Stick. And uh, I got another silver in the hole. Oh, it's a quarter. And it's a Washington. Uh, That's cool. Yeah. 44. Yeah, all right. 1944 Washington Quarter. Wow, man. As the choo-choo train goes by, that's number Real six day. for the day. What a day. We'll keep going. i tell you what, I think I'm going to have to get a bigger box. It's busting targets left and right. Here's a nice little wheat scent, if it'll focus on it. Another one. Put in a box. See what else we can get. Like Here we go. Here's Lee. And I kid you not, guys, I turned around right here and went the other way. Lee comes up here and busts himself. He sees it. It's a Merc. Man, this yard has got a lot of silver in it. Ooh, it's an early one. It's worn well. Yeah. Can you read it? Here I can put mine. Let me see about putting it up here. Get in the shade. Now maybe you can see it. I can't get in the shade. There we go. Um, yeah, it's a 16, 17, or 19. It's one of those. I got an 18 so. and a 19 yesterday. Yeah, good yeah. find, man. Well, know, we have busted some silver on this yeah, one. We have. And we ain't done. We still got hours 19, to go. 19. Good so. find, man. We'll keep going. Oh, Mikey, that little dirty dog stepped right into where I had just been and says he went all barber quarter on us. Wow, sir, is that worn. Yeah, I see 1880 something, I think, 87. Yeah, let me get in the shade real quick. Eighty-three, maybe? Uh -huh. Maybe eighty-three. Wow, Mikey's on the board with silver. Finally. How many is that for us today? I just got one. Lee's got two. You got eight. Right. That's eleven. Is that right? Yeah. Do I have eight or six? I don't know. But man, that's a great find. Good job, buddy. Thank you. Mikey just said, Jeff, you won't believe this. A barber spill. Dime also? Quarter. Another quarter? Yeah. Same hole? Yeah, well. Close to it. Guys, I just dug this first barber out here and I got, I always check your hole and I checked it again and there's another one. And that one's in way better shape. A little shape. better shape. 1902. 
Yeah. Nice, buddy. Get into some shade here. Uh oh. Seriously? There's something else in there. In them roots. 1902. 1902, man. Yeah. See if you get anything. Anything? No, not solid enough to. All right, two it. barbers, one haul. That's a first for me. Good job, Mikey. Wow, dude. Awesome. Good job. Let's see if we can get a little bit more. I'm about to die of thirst, though. There's. You thirsty? Yeah, I got a coke out there. I'm hungry too. I got some Mountain Dew left, but it's probably 118 degrees. Yeah. Anyway, it's having fun, aren't we? Oh yeah, man. Like when you're on stuff like this, how do you leave it? Yeah, well, I mean, you get in the car and you go off, and that's how you do it. So. That's awesome. But we'll keep going. All right, guys, I just had a 1241 signal. I just left Mike, uh, walked back around here, picked up my detector and swung it. Real good high tone. Opened up the hole, and check this out. I don't know what it is, but it's ginormous. It appears to have people on it. I'm not 100% sure what that is. It's some kind of, it's heavy as I'll get out. Wow. Big old metal, though. What is it? I don't know. I'm going to get some water from Lee and see what we can clean it up a little bit. All right, guys. Got it cleaned up as good as we could out here. Special Olympics uh, metal. It says uh, down at the bottom, skills, uh, sharing, I think, courage, and joy, I think. And on the back, it's just got some funky design. So, anyway, we'll see what else we can get. All right, guys. I just wanted to show... There's four buffaloes because I just busted another one. Check this one out. And it's got a date of... I can't tell. 36 maybe. But I'm going to lay that in a box right there. Number five. Mikey says he's got silver over here. This is going to be number 11 for the day, I think. He just found the barber quarters over here. Silver. Somebody dug a silver right in. I dug a couple up there. So it's right here. Let me see. You see it? Oh yeah. Can I snag it? Yeah, snag it. I think it's a barber. Ain't for sure, for sure though. Oh yeah. Barber? You're in Barberville right here. Duty duty. Oh six. Oh six, baby. Wow. Nice barber time. Well, what a yard. Man, we are killing it here. No mint. 1906, no mint. Good find, buddy. All right, I'm dude. glad you're getting on some silver now. I was All feeling right. so bad for you. I was feeling bad for myself. I wasn't feeling bad enough to let you have my target, though. I was pouting a little bit. Hey, did you just know I just found my fifth buffalo? That's cool. Awesome. Awesome. What Let's day? keep going. Uh, I don't know, but it has one. Cool. So have we'll keep going. Yeah. Mikey dug all those barbers over there, and I can't get him away. But I did just give him the thumbs up, which is our Missouri sign for silver in the hole, which actually it's not in the hole. I popped it out, not meaning to, but this rascal was deep, seven inches, and it is a merc. I saw when it popped out, I could see the back of it, so that's going to be silver number seven for the day for me, but she's sitting out there. Oh, it's getting hard to get up and down. See her right there? Looks like a worn one, pretty early, if I'm guessing. Take a look at it. No mint mark. And it's a 1916 plane. Is it? Another 16? Yep. Yep, no mint mark. I don't think. No. Okay, Jeff, just give me the signal again. It's number seven. So we'll see if we can get one more. <laughs> I just cleared my throat and the guys look. Thinking I had silver. I don't. But I do have something really cool. Check out this little unit. I don't know what it is or how it attached or what all's broken off. I think another side like that is broken off. Maybe they came together up top, but cool little decorative piece. Now the dog's barking. If the dog barks too much, we're going to have to leave. That's what the owner said, which I'm ready. I'm tired. <laughs> we'll keep pushing. All right, it's kind of slowed down here for us, but we work in the same area. Lee's working the same area that... Mike was working a while ago, a little bit south of it. Guys, Lee just popped us over. We'll see what it's it is. It's a dime, isn't it? Yep. It's in barber country, 
been a few barbers found down in here, isn't there? Mm -hmm. I get it. Barber. Well, you guys wager it's a Merc? It's a Merc. It's a Merc. Yeah. yeah. Awesome silver. How many is that for you? Four or five. Nice. 34, I think. Cool. Good Merc, man. Good job. Congratulations. They got to come see it because it's hard to believe. I said, I'm going to dig this buffalo nickel. By golly, that's number six for the day for me. That's crazy. My machine hasn't even said 12-12 all day. and you. I had, mine's not hitting 12-12 either. Well, or close to it. You know what I mean. Look at that. that is, he's got some zebra stripes on the back. Buffalo. That's number six, isn't it? Yeah. Number six, yeah. My machine hasn't even come close to reading 12-12 today. I haven't even run across anything close to a nickel. You will refer to me now as chemo slobby. <laughs> I can't even get one. Well, you just are not good. And then I am. I'm just the nickel meister. Oh, wow. Woohoo! We'll keep nickel. going. All right, Lee brought over his junior sheriff's badge and demanded all my nickels, but I had my Letch digger there and uh, scared him back, so now I get to keep his junior sheriff's badge. Right, Lee? Uh, yeah, if you weren't so big, I'd take all your silver. <laughs> <laughs> you keep the nickels. <laughs> Good luck, man. We'll keep going. We're just sitting here. Thinking about the day we had. I don't understand how you found so many buffalo nickels. Tell you what, if my body wasn't killing me, we'd still be here probably. I am dying. Let's take a look at it, guys. <laughs> Let's take a look at what we got. Okay, we got them all laid out. This is just the good stuff. Now, guys, we dug other things, relics and things like that, and uh, and we might show you know Mike might show that on his channel. I might show it on mine. I'm not sure, but you know, I start with me over here. I had a 44 Walker, and then I had a 44 Washington Quarter. A 1914 Barber. Let's see, I had three Mercs and a Rosie. I had the 1901 Indian. And then, incredible for me, you guys know I love nickels. Six Buffalo nickels. Only dug two Jeffersons. Mikey got on a sweet little uh, Barber spill. There's the first one he pulled out, and then there's the second one. And then he pulled another Barber dime not far away. And uh, so got him some silver as well. Lee finished with a barber, and then he had two Mercs, a Rosie, an Indian, which was 1901, and then a cool Junior Sheriff's badge. So, guys, enjoyed it. Mikey, good job. Thank you. Lee, good job. Good house. Thank you. Yep. Mikey got a good permission for us. Well, we almost almost had to leave, but sweet talk and got to hunt the side yard. So, worked out well. It worked out well. I want me a magnolia tree like that one day. And I'm going to bury all my silver under it. And you guys will have to find it one day. Woo-hoo! Thanks for watching.